How do 43 college students get abducted, get handed over to a drug cartel, and nine years later, no one's ever been convicted of a crime? It's an unsolved case that's haunted Mexico for years, and there's still very few answers as to how and why a crime this major was able to take place. Here's what we do know. On September 26, 2014, 43 teachers in training at a college in Ayotzinapa had planned to travel to Mexico City for a protest. And they would first go to the nearby town of Iguala to commandeer a few buses to take them there. But after leaving the station, local police chased them down, opened fire, took them away, and eventually handed them over to the drug cartel Guerreros Unidos. And here's where a lot of the unknowns start happening. Because there have been many flawed investigations into this abduction, which is a major part of the story. Then President Enrique Peña Nieto carried out the original investigation in 2014, which concluded that Guerreros Unidos killed the students, incinerated them in a massive fire, and dumped their remains in a river. But it didn't address potential government involvement, even after it found that local police handed the students over to the gang. And investigators later found out that an army base nearby was aware of the entire abduction as it was taking place, but did nothing. So that administration was accused of a sweeping cover-up. But uncovering what happened became a central campaign promise of President Andrés Manuel López Obrador in 2018. And once sworn into office, his first executive order created a truth commission to investigate not just what happened to the students, but the likely government involvement. And fast forward to 2022, he said he finally solved the mystery and for the first time called it a crime of the state that involved every every layer of government. Several arrest warrants followed, but then it quickly fell apart. Turns out the Truth Commission rushed to deliver answers, so they relied on unsubstantiated evidence and made a series of poor choices that undercut the investigation. Nunca imaginamos que a tres años de este nuevo gobierno no tengamos todavía información sobre el paradero de nuestros hijos. But they had a breakthrough just last year that is still key to understanding what happened. Special Prosecutor Omar Gomez Trejo was able to obtain text messages sent in 2014 between cartel members, military officials, and other officials involved in the abduction. The messages were also obtained by the New York Times. Although the messages don't cover the night of the disappearances, they've offered the clearest possible motive for why a drug cartel targeted students who had nothing to do with organized crime. They revealed how the cartel was paranoid and stressed at the time over their enemies' activities. How they thought that the convoy of buses were filled with rival traffickers when they ordered the local police to attack. They also revealed that police officers were taking direct orders from drug traffickers, that the military was being showered with cartel bribes, that one of the emergency responders that night and the coroner were working with the cartel. They revealed that some of the bodies were incinerated in a crematory owned by the coroner's family. Basically, they showed how every area of the government in the area at the time had been working for the cartel for months. Investigators say that the students could have never known about this stronghold that the cartel had on Iguala. After the latest investigation fell apart and several arrest orders had to be canceled, the special prosecutor resigned and fled the country. It also came out that the government's top human rights official was being spied on while investigating the armed forces' role in the crime. Then, a separate group of international investigators ended their probe into the crime because of apparent obstruction of justice by Mexico's military. So, nine years later, it doesn't seem the families of the students are any closer to getting justice for their loved ones. No hay avances, es lo mismo. Y pues, pues el, el sentimiento lo traemos desde un principio, desde que eh, lo desaparecieron. Drug violence has plagued Mexico for the past 17 years. More than 100,000 people are reported missing. And the UN says that organized crime groups are mainly responsible. 